Okay, so the other scoop. Breaking news here on this program. All right. Now, can we report that you said this? You can. Rep- I mean, you can report what I'm going to say. I'm not okay. saying. Listen, here's the deal, everybody. Right now, at this moment, John Cena is in Vancouver and he's filming a movie. I know everyone's been talking about, oh, maybe John Cena will be in the Battle Royal. Maybe he'll be a big surprise in the Battle Royal. Let me make it abundantly clear. I'm not saying he's not going to be in the Royal Rumble, okay? But I am telling you that he's actually doing something right now. Now, I don't know what his contract for his movie states or does not state. For example, when Rock is doing a movie, like, they no longer allow Rock to, in the middle of a movie, go wrestle. Because in the old days, every time Rock went to wrestle, he got seriously injured. I shouldn't laugh, but it's like, it's every time. And Hercules got put off dramatically, and so after that, it was kind of like, dude, you can't be doing these wrestling matches while you're making a movie. I don't know if the same thing has been stated to John Cena, but all I can tell you is that right now, I would say, I would say it is unlikely he is a Royal Rumble participant because he is in Vancouver making this movie. Now, this weekend, we do have a show. We have a show Sunday. And I probably will be able to tell you Sunday if he's still in Vancouver or if he's not. So right now, that's where he's at. And so my guess is, my guess is that he's probably not going to be in the Royal Rumble. But there you go. Now, are you to play the fun speculation game as to if there is going to be a surprise who that person may be on the men's side of the Royal Rumble? Bro, I don't know. I mean, it could be anybody. It could be... It could be... Let me, Kurt let me, Stallion. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be Kurt Stallion, but uh, I. How about since he hasn't been around for a while, his name has faded off of NXT TV. Why not Pat McAfee? It could be Pat McAfee. I will laugh. Can I say the word "ass" here on the air today? Yes. Whether I can or not, I will laugh it off. If Pat McAfee. Lose them cheap. Is in the Royal Rumble after doing what? nothing since losing a War Games match several months Look, ago. And why? meanwhile, young Ricochet is such a geek that he cannot get into the Rumble without winning a match against Stop AJ. Stop it. He, Stop trying to draw those two against each other or with it's each true. other. It's true. That's what it is, Mike. Oh, no, it's two yes. separate, completely separate things. You know what it is? It is completely separate, and I'll tell you why. Because from WWE, the the main brand's point of view, they saw that success down there in NXT. They see the national radio show, radio show he has. They see all of this attention that Pat McAfee can bring you. And why not? He did such a great job down there in NXT. How about we quietly separate him from everybody that he was associated with down there? Boom. Now it's the Royal Rumble, a fresh new start. He's one of the people in there. Are you crying for Akira Tozawa? Are you crying for Drew Gulak? If you're not for them, why for Ricochet? Bro, I'm not saying that I don't want Pat McAfee to be in the Royal Rumble. I'm begging for Pat McAfee to come back to TV (laughs) somewhere. I'm just pointing out how preposterous this is in storyline. That if you are a regularly working member of the main roster who has previously won championships, they consider you such a dork... That you have to earn your way into the Royal Rumble. Whereas a guy like Pat McAfee, who, has he won a match? I'm honestly not sure if he's ever even won a match. He's never won a match. Won a match with the microphone. But he can just show up at the Royal Rumble, presumably. Now, granted, he may not be there. I'm not saying that. So remember when they randomly had Val Venus come back and be in there? Remember when they brought back Kurt Henning and the, and, and Kurt Henning made the I gold mean, dust. Of I think all it was bros that is not considered a geek. Val Venus, they clearly have not been on this man's timeline. If you love these video clips, head down there to the bottom right hand side of the screen and click join. For just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month, you get full access to all of the episodes, over three hundred at current count. Full-length episodes of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, and Figure Four Daily with both Landstorm and Filthy Tom Lawler. You can also hit that subscribe button, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows are available.